Hello and welcome, I'm Dr. Troy Munson. I love hearing these podcasts where people describe the difficult things they've been through. And while they definitely are, whether it is in combat, whether it's women who have escaped some of these encampments where they're basically just used as human flesh, whether you've escaped from wild animals or killed a bear with your bare hands or lived off the land for six months and it was only you and a knife or whatever. While these things seem awesome and dare might I say some folks who have hardened their bodies so much that they can run 50 miles on broken bones in their feet and continue to go, we might say, well, I'm not so sure that's courageous, but it probably could be. And we have all these examples of people doing things where we would say is quite profound, and I certainly wouldn't want to be there and do that. But this may be the most courageous thing that you could do. But most would never do it. Here we go. So imagine your life as it is, maybe, maybe even some of the worst moments of your life, and then deciding that, you know what? I am not going to try to change anything. I am going to stand in the face of everything that I'm going through right now and not judge it and just experience it. Now, who that, who in their right mind would even try to experience a bad time with a completely open mind who wouldn't want to change it? Now, of course, all of us, almost all of us would say, I definitely would try to go change that. I wouldn't want to continue doing what I'm doing. And I'm not talking about doing something or rather experiencing something without wanting to change, but I'm talking about experiencing something and allowing the experience to change you. Do you have the courage to look at the difficult things in your life and allow them to change you and to tell you what they have to tell you? I give you the story. It's a very short story. There were two angels that came down to heaven. One was a street sweeper and the other the king, and neither desired to change their station. And we hear that, we think, well, that's good and okay for them, but I'd certainly want to change my station if I was a street sweeper. However, if you didn't have any thoughts running through your brain and judgments, you would think nothing of being a simple street sweeper, getting your daily existence and just eking out your day by day and living blissfully happy because you don't have any judgments of what you are or your station. You don't think less of yourself or more, and you don't think less of anybody else or more. But let's go to the king now. And the king has all these people tugging at him constantly, begging him for, you know, uh, counsel and for an audience and all of his advisors wanting to know what to do about this and that and the other thing and what are we going to do next and we've got this problem in this province or whatever. The king has far more irritation than the street sweeper. But we might say, well, yeah, but what would it be like to be the king? It simply is yet again another judgment. Now, I, I have begun to unpack this podcast because in my own mind, I used to have these thoughts of changing things. Well, I want this to be different. And now as things happen to me, I simply dismiss them and I do not care to change anything. And here's the most profound thing. As you seek to not change anything, but let the, the experiences and the situations and the things that come at you speak volumes into you and tell you what they have to tell you, that your life begins to already 
near miraculously begin to change. So it is with great pleasure that I tell you what real courage is, is to pursue the truth and to not try to change where spirit leads you, but to embrace it fully in the face of everybody else telling you that you can't live like that. You've got to do everything, you've got to do something different. You can't just keep doing what you're doing. No, you begin to allow those things to change you. And at the same time, all these little voices that come at you that tell you how bad or whatever, or try to judge your situation and try to tell you how to do crap. And you simply smile and nod and you continue to let the experience that you're experiencing tell you what you need to know so that you don't actually repeat it again. And now you move into the next situation or experience, not desiring to change it either. And all of a sudden you begin to realize how amazing each aspect of every day, every moment, every now moment is and how beautiful life actually really is. And then when somebody comes to you and says, can I pray for you? You think like I do. Well, how would I want it to be any different? Who said it was bad? In fact, I think it's quite good. Perhaps you could pray for me that I would ex experience it and accept it even faster than I already do. That would be about it. And so as we don our courage and begin to look at everything happening in our lives with freshness, with simply awe and without judging it and with full acceptance and full non-resistance, we find how effortless the situations that we're in change and something even more amazing actually beautifully happens to us and for us and through us. That, my friend, is some serious bravery. Now, if you have questions, concerns, perhaps you're just starting this journey of spiritual development. You're like, I have no idea what this dude just said. You may want to shoot me a, an email. I'll be happy to explain it in different ways. If you want to get in touch with me and have a quick conversation, happy to do that. If you took this and said, oh my gosh, I got to try this. This sounds amazing. And the most miraculous stuff happens to you. I would love to know. It's always awesome to hear from somebody who is of the same ilk and willing to go for the gusto of life and just accept fully everything as it is and stop judging the hell into everything and allow heaven to surround you and beauty and joy and peace and love. Those things will come automatically and you'll find out that you were those things all this time. Until next time, I'm Dr. Troy. And remember, you have nothing to do, only something to see.